जय हिंद आई एम प्रोफेसर देवेंद्र सिंह एच ओ डी मैकेनिकल एट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद आई एम टेकिंग द कोर्स ऑन मशीन डिजाइन एंड इन माय लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कवर्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द मशीन डिजाइन एलिमेंट्री डेफिनेशंस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन मशीन डिजाइन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन एंड एंड सम uh related definition to machine design we have also discussed the system design cycle we have also discussed the engineering design procedure that includes the various steps uh, from starting from the recognition of need to the various phases of the design and up to the retirement of the product in this uh, uh, third lecture we are going to discuss some uh, elementary uh topics uh, for design like uh, the contents in this lecture is standards and standardization in design what are the advantages what do you understand by standards and standardization as uh, we know if if we we need to uh change uh, a bearing and in in a, in a car front wheel uh, for maruti 800 for example you need to go to the market and just give a number to the uh, to the shopkeeper uh, give me the bearing of 6205 you you will get the bearing from the market and you you will find that that uh, bearing is exactly fit on the shaft uh, and and then fit in the uh, wheel uh, so this is uh, possible due to the standards in size of the bearings so standards and standardization is very important it uh, it it can make possible the mass production of the uh, of the items of the components of the system and machines and the mass production can affect the cost uh, it it may cause the the cost effective uh, production of the components then we will discuss after that the selection of preferred sizes uh, so uh in in this topic we will discuss how we can decide the uh, sizes of the product for 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 uh, fulfillment of the need of the society and it should not require uh, very much variation or, or 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 the appropriate optimal variation we will be decided on the basis of the preferred sizes so that the maximum population will get benefited from the design so these two topics we will discuss to, uh, today the first topic is a standard so a standard is a set of specifications for various parts as we have uh, discussed or i have mentioned uh, a bearing in in our introduction so it is a, stand, a standard is a set of specification parts materials or process intended to achieve uniformity efficiency and specified quality so this is a standard where we will get all these informations for a particular part then standardization is a process by which we uh, we make sure the the obligatory norms should be uh, conformed by the design components so uh, so that they will become a standard so standardization may be precisely defined as standardization is defined as obligatory norms to which various characteristics of product should conform then purpose of standardization as uh, i have mentioned in the introductory uh, talk of this uh, lecture the purpose of standardization is to establish mandatory or obligatory norms or standards to which the different types grades parameters for example dimensions as we have taken the example of bearing so the, uh, the the bow diameter the outer race diameter the uh, width of the races and the number of the balls and uh, number of the rows of the balls in 6205 it is uh, everything is standard so you need not to worry about that and if it is there it it has been tested so it is suitable for that particular application where the shaft diameter is 25 mm and we can get the information from that standard uh, dimension or uh, standard uh, designation of any component then the quality characteristic test methods if you are going to design something before testing test methods must be uh, must be full proof Uh, so asm methods you should use for 
uh, testing. So test methods must be standard. And rules of marking, packing, and storage of finished item, raw materials, and semi-finished articles should conform. This is uh, this will make uh, the the uh, durability, life, effectiveness, and it will it will provide the uniformity and efficiency with a specified quality as we have uh, defined uh, in the very first topic uh, that is a standard. After standardization, we will get that uniformity, efficiency and specified quality of the uh, product. Then standard, uh, standardization design, is, uh, what is the aim of standardization? Aim of standardization is the unification of machine elements and units is to minimize the types of items by eliminating the superfluous diversity of product and production material etc. It will, it, it, it can, uh, it will result in the uh, optimum inventory. Uh, it may call, it may affect the cost of production. It may affect the final cost of the product, the standard and standardization. Then uses of uses or advantage of standardization. It makes the mass production possible, thereby reducing the manufacturing cost and labor requirement because uh, if the standard parts we are using in any, any system and any assembly, we can make we can keep the, uh, uh, the the inventory for that uh, standard parts and it will be used it will be used in uh, in the assembly so we 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 can save the time and time cost maybe uh, uh, produce the cost effective element second advantage is the standardization of a specification method of testing the machine elements help in improving their quality has the service life if the testing methods are uh, correct te testing methods are reliable then uh, the the service life or the uh, all the performance or uh, function of the design component design uh, machine will be reliable so reliability will increase by using these standard elements in any machine or system. The repair and maintenance of the machine is simplified since the worn out or damaged parts can easily be replaced by standard ones. As I have mentioned in uh, earlier, uh, I have mentioned earlier that if we want to uh, re replace the bearing of a front wheel of car Maruti 800, then we uh, we can replace by simple 6205. We will get from a um, from market and we can easily replace it then use uh, fourth uses it reduces the time and effort needed to create and manufacture new machines since the standard elements and units can be used to assemble a new machine hence facilitate fast design and production for the use of standardized, standardized parts increase the reliability of the system I have already mentioned. Standards used in mechanical engineering, there are various uh, standards used in the mechanical uh, engineering design office. The, this is standards for materials. Uh, these standards uh, have the information about the chemical composition, mechanical properties and heat treatments or surface finish etc. Et for a particular component. Then the standards for shape and dimension for commonly used machine elements such as bolts, what should be the head, it, whether it should be the hexagonal head or the rectangular or a square head or a, a screws, maybe snap or machine screw, nuts, rivets, uh, shafts, bearings, splines, modules of uh, gears, so shapes and dimensions. Uh, gears, modules, a module is a parameter. If we are having the knowledge of the module of the gear we can uh, we can uh, define a design or determine or we can recommend predict the various dimension of the gears if module is known so in in standards uh, we we have the standard modules for the spur gear helical gear or, or crossed helical gear or uh, or or uh, warm gears or bevel gears we have the modules the transverse module and normal module in our standards and we calculate the module in during our design of the gears and we standardize uh, the module uh, from that the standards uh, for fits tolerance and surface finish for the components the standards for testing of products such as pressure vessel boiler over overhead traveling cranes wire ropes etc and surface finish of components where safety to operator is involved. We are having the uh, various factor of safety is recommended in the standard for various applications. The standards for engineering drying of components. Uh, 
the uh, the standard uh, or all the universal convention to represent the threads for example it is according to a standard then the, the various types of standards we use in our uh, mechanical engineering design office first is the international standard uh, international standards which are applicable for uh, globally are accepted globally then national standards are valid for a particular nation then company standard which is valid uh, within the company and its uh, sister concerns sister companies so international uh, standards are those which are applicable throughout the globe and these standards are formed by international standardization uh, organization iso national standards are those which uh, prepared in and applicable for a particular nation for example this bis bureau of indian standards for india then for germany aisi for america for for rna steel institute company standards company standards are those for the use of particular company or group of sister companies then selection of preferred sizes selection of preferred sizes uh, is recommended or, or or invented or suggested uh, by by a, a french engineer uh, charles renard and he proposed a process by which we can build up a series of of various sizes which can satisfy the need of the maximum population of the society for a particular requirement so preferred numbers of sizes are used to specify the size of the product to fulfill the requirement of consumer consumer with minimum variation in sizes that is minimum number of sizes and it was invented it was um, uh, suggested by uh, charles renard that's why these uh, series are also no, known as renard series here size is a general term which may include different parameters like its uh, power transmitting capacity may be considered as size load carrying capacity speed dimension of components such as height length width may be considered as size so here in, during the introduction size uh, we use is a general term it may be anything power transmitting capacity or load carrying capacity speed or dimension of the component such as light uh, such as height length and width volume selection of preferred sizes uh, for example if a manufacturing company wants to manufacture seven different models of electric motors ranging from 0.5 kW to 50 kW to cater the need of customer so the the uh, uh, one one may think we should start 0.5 0.51 0.52 0 and we go to 50 kW some other thing 0.5 0.6 1 to 5 and 50 kW thus so that maximum population can uh, can uh, can get the benefit of this uh, uh, design but uh, uh, charles not suggested uh, a procedure in which we use uh, uh, we we arrange uh, the the various uh, sizes uh, in the form of the geometric progression and he says that the five series r5 r10 r20 r40 and r80 and these series are having the specific uh, uh, specific series factors and uh, and we select the first uh first uh, m size uh, where so to start and we will try we will we will build up this series by uh, by making the geometric progression by using the particular series factor so preferred numbers are used to specify the size of these seven models in the given range of the purpose this is the selection of preferred sizes preferred numbers were first introduced by french balloonist engineer charles renard in 19th century the system is based on the use of geometric progression to develop a set of numbers and uh, the there are five basic series having their own series factor these are r5 it is 1.58 this is the fifth root of 10 this is uh, r10 1.26 this is 10th root of 10 they, they, this is uh, uh, r20 is 20th root of 10 and r40 40th root of 10 and 80 is 80th root of 10 that is 1.03 so 1.58 1.26 1.12 1.06 1.03 1 these are the series factor if any manufacturer starts uh, uh, starts uh, uh, his uh, business uh, the very first series he must choose that is r5 uh, uh, with which the gaps between successive uh, sizes is large and as the product will get 
popular then he uh, will need to put intermediate uh, uh, intermediate uh, sizes then he has to move from r5 to 10 then and then similarly from r10 to r20 and the gaps may be all the number of the models may be increased as the product will become popular so uh, for the advantages of preferred numbers of preferred sizes the difference in two successive terms has a fixed percentage as uh, here we have seen this is a fixed series factor so there are fixed percentage uh, between the successive uh, sizes so this is the very first if we can predict what will be next so the difference in two successive terms has a fixed percentage then it provides a small step for be small quantities and larger step for large quantities it is a conformation uh, with the mode of variation found in nature and the product range is covered with minimum number of size without restricting the choice of the customer preferred sizes assist the designer to avoid the selection of sizes in arbitrary manner with the use of the selection of preferred sizes designer having certain uh, mathematical uh, support and some some logic behind the selection of the uh, size of the uh, size of the product and uh, here uh, we are going to use uh, two numericals to illustrate how uh, we will decide the uh, decide uh, our uh, uh, sizes by using selection of preferred sizes. So, here this a uh, manufacturer is interested to start the business with 6 Uh, six uh, different models of machine ranging from 7.5 kilowatt to 75 kilowatt. A special power capacity of the six models. So, we can start with R5 series first for R5 series and for R5 series the series factor is 1.58. Then uh, if R5 series we are using first model we can have this is 7.5 kilowatt you can start with 7.5 kilowatt then the second model second model is 7.5 kilowatt multiplied by 1.58 and whatever result is there you have to try and round off round off the result result. Then third, third is 7.58 multiplied by 1.58 into multiplied by 1.58 a square. So, for, for this we have to calculate what is uh, this, uh, what is the size of first and uh, then second and uh, then third. So, for that we need to calculate, we need to apply some calculation here. So, first is 7.58 multiplied by 1.58, this is 11.9764, 9.764, it is 12, that is round off, then multiplied by 1.58, this is 18.92, this is 19 kilowatt, then third, fourth model is 7.58 multiplied by 1.58 cube is a cost to, this 29.89. That is equal to 30 kilowatt. <coughs> then, then we uh, come to the uh, this fourth, fifth, fifth uh, model is 7.58 multiplied by 1.58 raised to power 4. Right. That is 
multiplied by 1.58 it is 47 point 238 that is 48 and the sixth modal sixth modal is 7.58 7 7.58 7 7.5 sorry this is not it 1.58 raised to the power 5 that is multiplied by 1.58 so it is 74. 74.64 that is 75. So in fact here the, the this is exactly fixed you have started with 7.5 kilowatt here and you are getting the 7 75 kilowatt here with here you you have fixed the six models now if you you want to increase if you want to increase the number of the models here then what you can do you have to use the lesser if you maintain this 1.5 its itself and you want to get the seventh model you you will not be able to insert the seventh model because the uh, range is given 7.5 to 7.75 kilowatt then you have to use you have to use the next series that is r5 uh, r10 that is you need to uh, you need to R10 for which the series factor will be 1.26 and you will get the intermediate you will get some model here you will get some model in between you will get some model here some model here and you can increase the number of the models by using the selection of preferred sizes and in this way the sizes which you need to select to satisfy the uh, the satisfy the maximum population for this range for this range if you start with 7.5 kilowatt and 1.26 maybe you will have suppose we we take another example we take uh, the same if you are using so you are starting with 7.5 kilowatt and using r10 for R10, this is R10, this is 1.26, right. So, first is 7.5 kilowatt, this is first, then second is 7. Point, this, this is third is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 square. Yaha bhi isko, uh, I am writing the values what I am getting here. So, the value you get this is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 if this is 9.45 so it will be 10 kilowatt then the third is 1.26 again multiply it is 11.907 that is equal to 12 kilowatt then the fourth fourth is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 cube is equal to so multiplied by 1.26 it will be 15 0.003 so it will be 15 kilowatt and then fifth is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 4 is equal to 1.26 18.90 this will be 19 or you may take 20 <coughs> I will take this is uh, 19 19 kilowatt you may take 20 sixth only six you need to calculate 7.5 1.26 sixth component or sixth model 1.26 it will be 23.23.82 24 kilowatt 
So, our range is 7.5 kilowatt and we have to cover up to 75 kilowatt. If I am using R10 and you are asked to generate only 6, then you could satisfy only this much population, a 24 kilowatt where the requirement of the population in maximum is 24 kilowatt. So, this 51 kilowatt remains unfulfilled. What in that case you could do? You should start thinking in the optimal way. Some authors suggest we should use it like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, um, like, uh, a, simple arithmetic progression, we should take A, A r square, A r cube and A r n minus 1 and calculate r. That is not correct. We should use these five basic or uh, five basic series uh, recommended by the uh, Charles Renard or we should use the derived series to decide the sizes of the components. If it is there, you calculate all between 7.5 to 75 kilowatt and then use the derived. You can escape some, some, uh, some, uh, some capacity from the, uh, from the series and build a series where you have only the six models here or you can do one thing more, you can start first model which is more than 7.5 kilowatt, so that this range will be optimally completed. Some portion may be left here which is not fulfilled, some portion may be there. A maximum population must be benefited by your, by your uh, design. So, for uh, for more illustration, we should move to the next uh, example. A manufacturer is interested in manufacturing five different models of generator set in the range of 5 kilowatt to 50 kilowatt. So, here initial is 5 kilowatt to 50 kilowatt. This is and if the further he wishes to expand to 9 kilo models within the same range, what will be the capacity of additional model? So, again I will start with R5, the series factor is 1.58 and the first model I start with 5 kilowatt, then second model it will be 5 multiplied by 1.58, this is, this is 5 multiplied by 1.58, so we complete it. 5 multiplied by 1.58, it will come out 7.9, so 8, you can recommend 10, third model 5 multiplied by 1.58, a square, this is 12.48, you can make it 15 kilowatt then multiplied by 1.58, fourth model, 5 multiplied by 1.58 cube, it will be 19.72 is 20 kilowatt, then the fifth model, fifth model, is 5 multiplied by 1.58 raised to power 4, it is 31 point, point 16. So, you can recommend 32 or 35 kilowatt. Here I see the range is 5 kilowatt and this is 15 kilowatt. Uh, sorry, this is this. This was f 50 kilowatt. 50 kilowatt. It is 50 kilowatt. 
So we have covered only this up to 35 if we consider it this. So this is remain unfulfilled. This is remain unfulfilled. This is to be fulfilled. So we can start with first model again, retrade first model. We in place of 5, I start with 8, 8 kilowatt. Second is 8 multiplied by 1.58. 8, 8, 3 kilowatt I have left unfulfilled on the lower bound. Then we perform another calculation 1.58. This is 12.64. This is 15 kilowatt. And then third is 8 into 1.58 square. This is 19.9. 7 that is equal to 20 kilowatt then fourth model is 8 multiplied by 1.58 cube is equals to 31.55 that is equal to 32 kilowatt and fifth model will be 8 multiplied by 1.584 is 49.85. This is 50 kilowatt. So, in this selection, of the, the range is fixed here is 5 kilowatt. We have started with 8 kilowatt. We have fixed 50 kilowatt. So, you can start with 7.5 kilowatt as first and you may reach up to 47 kilowatt by calculation you need to check. I leave it to you and in this way some 2.5 if I do then it, this is 7.5. So, means 2.5 kilowatt remains here. So, here we have discussed that this is We have discussed that if we are taking this is 7.5 kilowatt, we may reach up to 47. So, 3 kilowatt may reach unfulfilled here and 2.5 kilowatt unfulfilled here. So, it is the maximum population you have fulfilled. Maximum population will be using your product. And then, if you want to increase the production, increase the number of products. So, for that, I am taking 7.5 kilowatt as, as first model and then I will uh, I will take uh, the next series that is R10 series. Now, we need to use the 9 models, then this is 1.26 series factor we use. So, we start with first model is 7.5 kilowatt, second model is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 that we can calculate uh, we can calculate 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 this is 9.45 is 10 kilowatt third is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 square in the same range what we have decided in the earlier the same range first model we will take so multiplied by 1.26 it will be 11.90 7 is 12 kilowatt then the fourth model is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 cube 15.002 that is 15 kilowatt it should be always round off this note uh, 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 is 
is 18.90 this is 19 kilowatt then uh, sixth model sixth model 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 uh, 5 23.81 81 24 kilowatt then seventh model is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 one one you can recommend 30 kilowatt eighth model is 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 37.81 that is equal to 38 kilowatt and ninth model 7.5 multiplied by 1.26 is equals to 48 kilowatt. So thus, we can increase the models if we are moving to the next and now if in within the same range we need to increase the model from 9 to 15 then we, we will use the R20 and similarly further. And <coughs> this is the uh, way we decide and uh, I suggest do not use this A, A R E square and minus and calculate this this is not there you should use the use the standard series factors series series factors series factor we have discussed and during the lecture. Then next is a derived series sometimes the series is too long then some specific models we select. So, some derived, derived series are the series which are derived from the basic series R5, R10, R20, R40, R80. So, designation of the derived series are like this R52. This is derived series comprising of every second term of R5 series limited term 1 and this is like both inclusive if this is close parenthesis similarly R10 by 3. This is the R10 series basic series and this derived series comprising of every third term of R10 series unlimited both side are and uh, both side are open in both direction including the term 80 in, in between. If 80 is not there we will have to put suppose 75 is there and then 85 then we have to select 80. Uh, it is the mandatory requirement if it is there. Then uh, next is the R20 by 4 every 4 term of R20 series and limited at lower end and unlimited end is open on the upper bound. So, and lower end is fixed as 112. So, we will start from the 112 and then we will build the R20 series and we will uh, select the every 4 term. Then R40 by 5 this derived series comprising of every fifth term of R40 series and limited at upper end or limit by the term 60 at the uh, uh, at the upper end uh, inclusive. So, uh, this is uh, for today's lecture. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for this lecture. Thank you.